Hey, Journeys Crossing is Brooke again from um, the online campus. And last time I popped in, we talked about how we need to be light and um, in our communities and how we can do that this weekend through a watch party. So I hope you've been thinking about that. And are planning to come uh, online with us at 9.15 or 11.15 and uh, share that with your circle of friends. Um, but today, I wanted to touch base with you on one way you can prepare for service on Sunday, since it's still a little different with us being all in our own kind of parts of the, parts of the world. Um, and so every Sunday at Drew's Crossing, we take time for this thing called communion, right? And this, the reason we do it is because it's kind of like, it's like a gift that Jesus gave us really um, as a way to remember what he did for us. Um, and you can actually read about the Last Supper, which is what uh, we call it communion now. Um, the Last Supper in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John uh, in our New Testament. But I wanted to share with you just a little bit um, from the book of Luke, um, in chapter 22. So Jesus, he sends his disciples on ahead of you. He says, get ready for the Passover meal. And he gives them some instructions, some crazy things happen. And then, he comes together with them. And in Luke 22, starting at verse 14, it says this, when the time came, Jesus and the apostles sat down together at the table. And Jesus said, I have been very eager to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins. For I tell you now that I won't eat this meal again until its meaning is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And then he took a cup of wine and he gave thanks to God for it. And then he said, take this and share it among yourselves. For I will not drink wine again until the kingdom of God has come. And he took some bread and he gave thanks to God for it. And then he broke it in pieces and he gave it to the disciples saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took another cup of wine and he said, this cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood, which is poured out as a sacrifice for you. So the bread and the wine representing um, Jesus' body and his blood and uh, reminding us of the fact that he paid the ultimate price his life so that we, if we believe in him, can have life. And so here's what I want you to do before Sunday. I want you to do a little something to prepare because you won't be here with us in the building, but we can still be united in community through this time of communion. So uh, between now and Sunday morning, I want you to acquire either some wine or some juice. I ate this at 7-Eleven and I got some juice. All right, so I got a little thing of grape juice here. And then maybe some bread or crackers, something around. Um, I'm looking around, I found some crackers. Um, I've got a lot of kids. So maybe you have kids too, and your crackers might look like this, or they might look like little gold-shaped fish. I don't know, no judgment, okay? <laughs> Any kind of bread or crackers um, and some kind of juice. And uh, if you have that ready on Sunday, then when we get to our time of communion online, we can uh, lead you through that and we can be united together um, through this remembrance of Jesus and what he did for us and the hope that we have in him now. So you have a few days. I don't know how you want to do it. Maybe you have the stuff around. Maybe you need to call Instacart. I don't know, but get that together. Um, for Sunday, and we will be live and online at 9.15 and 11.15, and I'll be in the chat room with you, and there'll be some other people hosting, and we will connect and lead you through a time of community together. I am looking forward to connecting with you, even if it's just by talking in the chat room. Love you guys. Uh, hope you're doing okay today, and um, finding some ways to have some fun with a friend or family one way or another. Bye.